Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the natural resources in this video. Now what are natural resources? Before that we should know the meaning of resources. Resources means wealth. So wealth given to us by nature is known as natural resource. Natural resources are the valuable things in nature that are necessary for us to live. There are many valuable things in nature that are necessary for us to live on the earth. Some of these are air, water, soil, forests, animals and minerals. They are known as natural resources. We use these natural resources in our daily lives. We can classify the natural resources into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Now what is the difference and what do you mean by renewable resources and non-renewable resources? Now let's learn about it. Renewable resources. These resources are renewed by nature in a short span of time. These resources are available continuously. For example, water is renewed by the rain. Animals, crops, sunlight, these are all the examples of renewable resources. Now what are non-renewable resources? Non-renewable resources, in contrast to renewable resources, they may not be renewed by nature or take very long time to be formed again. These resources are exhausted after use. For example, petroleum, coal and other fossil fuels. Let's understand renewable and non-renewable with some examples. Like sunlight. We have a lot of sunlight which will not get over. Whereas, if we will see the another example of non-renewable resources like petroleum. We have so less of it and it also pollutes the environment. Coal. It is very dangerous to use. Natural gas. It is also non-renewable resources. Plastic. If we throw it, it means that we are littering or polluting. So, these are the examples of non-renewable resources. And renewable resources like wind, sunlight, water, fire. So, they have their own advantages over the non-renewable resources. Now, let's talk about the first wealth of nature, soil. Soil is the uppermost layer on the earth's surface. Soil is formed through the breaking of rocks and it forms a top layer of the earth's surface. Natural forces like wind, rain, temperature and flowing water breaks down the rocks that make up the earth's surface. These natural forces keep on breaking these rocks into uneven small pieces until they turn into soft powdered like soil. Soil is very important for the human being. Human depends on soil for many things. We go different kinds of cereals, vegetables, fruits in the soil. We use soil to make building materials like bricks and cement. We use clay obtained from the soil to make pots and utensils. It is also home to many animals. Another important natural resource is forest. Forest is a large area of land where there is a thick growth of trees and other plants. Now what is the importance of forest? Nature maintains a balance between carbon dioxide and oxygen. It helps in providing fresh air. Forest trees help in bringing sufficient rainfall on earth. Forests are also helps in conservation of soil. Forests provide habitat to wildlife and help in their preservation. It provides food, medicinal herbs, as well as other satisfactory requirements to fulfill our needs. Another important natural resource is water that is very important for our survival. Water is a renewable natural resource that is essential for life. Humans, animals and plants all need water to live. We need water to drink, wash, irrigate our fields and for many other purposes. Water is a very precious resource and we should not waste it. Fourth important natural resource is livestock. That is the animals raised by humans for their use. Animals have been a great source of health to us right from the beginning. The domesticated or tamed animals who are useful to us, they are called as livestock. Animals are raised to produce milk, meat and wool. 
Some animals are also used to plow the fields and carry the heavy loads. Rocks on the earth are made up of substances called minerals. Minerals are another important natural resource. Holes that are dug into the earth are called mines and the things taken out of them are called minerals. The minerals obtained from the earth are in an impure form. They are purified and used to make a number of things. We get metals such as iron, copper, aluminium, gold and silver from the mineral. These are shiny and hard. We also get other substances like diamond, limestone from minerals. A fuel is a substance that is changed in some way to produce heat, electricity or other forms of energy. Fuels such as petrol, diesel, natural gas and coal are also obtained from the earth. Petrol, diesel and natural gas are obtained from petroleum. All the mineral resources on earth are non-renewable resources. So once used up, they will not be available to us anymore. Minerals such as coal and petroleum which give us fuel for providing energy are being used up rapidly. So we should be very careful and should not waste them and we should try to use up the alternative resources that are renewable in nature like solar energy, wind energy etc. Thanks a lot for watching the video.